What's up guys, FSC Speed Shop. Literally just yesterday I did a video about kind of like a Thanksgiving update as to what we were doing around here. Unfortunately for you guys, that video seems like it was probably a month or two ago because typically I have a lag time of about a month because at the time I'm filming this, I actually have two complete round trips that are still in the can that I've yet to edit. But in that update, what I had talked about was the damage that was done to Orwell when it was parked out front while me and my son were out hunting. Also, in the last video you saw, should have been one of the last vlogs, we have a problem with the truck. Well, actually that last trip, it seemed like a lot of things were breaking on this truck all in like literally about three or four days worth which ultimately made me decide, okay, that's it, park the truck and start working on it. So the next series of vlogs is me working on this truck. Here are the handful of things that are wrong with it. Number one, in the middle of that video, you should have seen I lost my clutch. The clutch cable snapped. The clutch functions, I can't release the clutch. How you remedy that is you turn the engine off, stab it in gear, reach over, turn ignition on and refire the engine. Once it fires up, now you float the gears to come to a stop, just simply pop her in neutral, bring her to a stop, cut your engine off, wash, rinse, repeat. It is a way to do it. However, when I did that update video, I didn't want to get into how I got it backed in here. The answer, very carefully, and about six or seven, turn off, turn on, turn off, turn on. The other reason is, it's awful hard to see where you're backing into when you know your mirror is facing somewhere else and this one is like the bug's eye view of 80,000 different uh, spots on your prism. But another problem it had is it had a major air leak. Fan clutch. Fan clutch has gone out in it. The reason why I know it's the fan clutch is because when I turn the fan to on, it stops using the air and the air leak goes away. The way these fan clutches work is absence of air make them lock in so the fan is now engaged in turns with the engine. It's pushing air to the fan clutch is what releases the fan, that way the fan will stay spinning at a much slower speed, thus not making it have to pull air in when you don't need it. That fan clutch is leaking and that's what we're gonna start messing with today is removing this fan clutch and rebuilding it. Yes, I could just order a whole nother fan clutch, which is what I thought I did, but it was a little mix up at Peterbilt. There was a big difference in price between a fan clutch and a fan clutch. Turns out the cheaper by about half wasn't a whole fan clutch. It's actually a rebuild kit. So we're gonna attempt to rebuild it and make sure it's in fact the right rebuild kit for this fan clutch. If it's not, then I'm gonna return the kit and get just a swap out fan clutch for double my money. So with that, we're gonna head and get started on the fan clutch job. And the next video will be maybe the clutch. All right, let's get started. Okay. 
have to Alright, she's tight. Trick I do here is so I don't hit my head on the steps. I bring it over just enough so I can walk under and I hit my head. Now like I explained earlier, the fan won't turn as long as the engine is stationary. Right now the fan clutch is in the locked position. It's because the truck's been sitting for days, there's no air to it. Now I want to diagnose and make absolutely sure we don't just have a busted hose and I do all this for nothing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this adapter to go from my shop's air supply into the truck's air supply directly on the air compressor. This is the same thing that was done when the truck was towed last directly to the truck supply. You know, basically run right through my air dryer. And I dropped something. You dropped the adapter. All right, Matt will hand it to me. So now that that's disconnected, I could thread this. Why is that that size? I look stupid on camera. Now I have the right size one. I have two of these made for two different sizes. That was a mistake of mine. I will attach the shop supply air to the truck and start airing up the truck. And immediately, actually Matthew, go turn the valve on to the shop supply. As soon as Matt airs this up, we're going to start hearing a hissing noise from the fan clutch. I don't know if you want the noise. Can't replace the air. my hands in here to feel where the air is coming from. This hose is loose. Look at that. All oh, that wiggle and jiggle. It may not be the fan clutch failed after all, rather this hose that is just disconnected. Did you look at that? Turns out the clutch wasn't bad after all. Well, of all the dumb things to happen, nonetheless it is. I probably should have tilted the cab up and checked before, but I had assumed that in fact it was a bad fan clutch. Okay, so I could get my $500 back. Mm, might take about a week, because, you know, God forbid you give my money back as soon as you take it. The way, this, the way you adjust this, or even take this out, is the fan clutch has an adjustment that threads up through here that raises and lowers it. But first you have to loosen these bolts here and that fan clutch will slide up and down. I don't know if the other GoPro will catch it. There's an adjustment rod right here that sets these belts for adjustment. But first you have to loosen your alternator belts, which eh, they're a little loose too. So now I go to the other side and take the, the alternator belts off. I'm starting to believe there is no way I'm ever going to film anything without making a lot of shadows. It sure seems that way.
Matt, give me a three quarter inch socket on a ratchet. Will do. Might not need it immediately, but I will eventually. Probably the 3 8 drive will do. Now the belts, you kind of have to fish them over the fan blades, which not the easiest thing in the world to do sometimes. So now what I have to do is loosen these nuts here, which will allow the fan clutch to lower down and take the belts off. That one and then this upper one. One is a nut on a shaft. The upper one is an actual bolt. Now we're on the other side. Have to do the same. Loosen these as I drop my wrench. That's loose. I already cheated and took this off right here those two holes is where it attaches to the air conditioning compressor now what I'm doing is I'm reaching down with a speed handle and uh, loosen this and by loosening this will take the tension off of the belts now we have to watch out for is the fan will hit the shroud if you go too low too fast so now I can get the belts up and over and I'll get them off of the pulley itself now that it's loose I can now take the fan off that's another pain in the neck job so now the trick is almost fall off the truck probably put these back over and I think about it we still spin freely so now the trick is to take the fan off and lay it gently against the radiator or take it out of the truck altogether preferably so you take your 9 16 wrench and you reach up in the front and I don't remember how many bolts there are but there are a few Could probably swing a ratchet in here these come off pretty easy because I've already done this not that long ago when I rebuilt the engine this all went in new trying to be careful you don't bash your radiator with your wrench So far we've removed three. I think there are six. Yeah, not without taking the shroud off can you get the fan out. There's no need to. You know? Yeah. Well, can't you drop the clutch and then take the fan out? If yeah, but there's no need to. Yeah. I get it. Or are you talking to this? Both. Does, oh, is that just a bolt for the top one? Yeah, oh. tops are bolts, bottom are nuts on the shaft. 
hide the nut. I'm putting it in the compartment. Where's the other toolbox? Need help? I don't know yet. It's heavier than you think it is. Yep, now that might make it a little easier to get it off the hanger. I have both belts off. I saw, thank you. I'm taking this little plate thing off. Yeah. So it not fall off and lose it. Our next episode of Truck Mechanics That Have No Clue. Well, one thing's for sure, we'll figure it out and show you guys how to do it. So if you watched this video and then did yours, say thank you, because we figured it out first. Maybe this is how you do it. Lower it all the way down, take your bolts out, and then you can wrestle it out. That's what I was thinking as well, is if you take those bolts off, you could just slide the entire Yeah, well, I did frame. this, it wasn't, I did it so long ago. It's hard to remember. Well, it wasn't all that long ago, but I mean, the amount of crap I did, I didn't film none of it. Only we had known. Yeah. Hey, give me that. Uh -oh. who, you got who knew it. the automotive channel would turn into a trucking channel overnight? <laughs> you post. What did you post? One video of this, and it just went boom. So when I raise this up, it brings the whole bolt up too. Look at that. Watch. Thread it on there. All right, put your hand in front of the clutch, keep it from tilting forward. Got it? Hold on, I need to get a better position to where I can actually have support on my on myself. Got it? Push it into the engine? Yes. Are you? Yes. I'm holding the greasy part, but it's still hard. Adjustment rod's loose. That hurt. I sure it did. You got it? Mm -hmm. Alright, look out. I got it. The other one's gonna have to. Oh, this way. I can't see it. I got it. There you go. There we go. We'll hop over here. We're good. We're good. Set it. Grease off. I was losing it. Oh. Put it on a table somewhere. I now have the fan clutch sitting on the table. I will show you one other thing that's annoying with this thing. Is right here. There's a zerk fitting, a grease fitting, and it's obviously very difficult to get to with it mounted in the truck. It's basically impossible. But what went wrong is here. Right here, this was threaded in. And this had broke off. So now I have what's left of this still in the hole. So I'm going to attempt to work an easy out and get it out. If that don't work, well then... Went for a long day. I look stupid on camera. I'll start on size. I must have did something else with it. Hit the end recording. Yeah.